Okay, so today we are looking at uh, uh, tire groover and grooving gravel tires. So here we have a Van Elstein G1000 machine. Uh, that's uh, how it looks like. Uh, here we have the uh, cutting blade. Uh, you can find a bunch of different sizes of cutting blades, uh, wider or uh, narrower, depending on what you want to cut. And here we have an old uh, gravel tire. You can see it's missing uh, some pieces. And the idea is when you uh, want to go in a wet or soft terrain or muddy terrains, you are gonna have to increase the widths of the, uh, the groove here between the thread blocks. So here I'm gonna turn the other way so that you can see the blade coming toward you. Uh, there are different models, but the Van Alstein is one where you have to push it. So here I'm gonna start, for example, here, and I'm gonna try to cut the edge of the blocks on each side. So here is the machine plugged in, it's off. I'm gonna turn it on, it's gonna work better. So here I just push on the edge, I'm gonna wait for the machine to heat up. We're gonna see the blade starting to cut through, you see the blade is red. It's just cutting through the rubber and I'm cutting my groove here to widen the tire. There we go. And so here I can remove, you can see what I've been cutting here and I have a wider groove. So here you don't wanna, I did cut a little bit uh, more on this side and not enough on that side. So that's why you want to practice you can also adjust the, uh, the depth of the groove. So we did a trial earlier, and when you cut too deep, you can see you can cut below the line of the tread, and then you are gonna start to uh, end up in the carcass of the tire. That's too deep. You don't wanna cut as much. You really wanna cut in the tread block, but not deep in the tire. So may you have to practice. Uh, Different manufacturers have different recommendations on uh, what you should cut and how much, like uh, uh, Rougier would recommend to just cut the front of the block here. Uh, both Michelin and uh, uh, Pirelli recommend cutting the edge on each side, one millimeter on each side. Uh, some also recommend for very muddy sections to cut a straight line uh, here. You can also widen the gap between those two blocks. So when you have a block like this, we realize that, um, let me take a, a new block here. If I cut here like this, I'm gonna let the machine warm up, okay. I have to stop here and not turn. If I turn, I'm gonna cut under the, um, the straight block, that's not gonna be good. And so what I do is I cut the other side coming the other way and that's the way you widen the uh, the groove in a in a turn. To show you, I'm gonna do the uh, turn here, like this. You are gonna see now where where I did turn. If I do a turn like this, I damage the straight block because if you look here inside, the blade went inside and curved the. The groove inside the thread block this way. So you really want just to cut here and stop and then cut the other way but not try to turn with the blade. Okay, so those are the basics of uh, tire grooving. You can check your tire manufacturer recommendation on uh, what the best way and the best cuts you can do. You can also try to remove complete thread blocks and uh, I've seen some tires where people would remove a complete line just to evacuate way more. So you can do one here, one every five or depending on what you want to do after that. I guess it's a uh, trial and error for everybody uh, to see what works best for them. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.